the reason I got into this sport is to enjoy nature. For me, this is like the most important thing about this adventure. I've had so many fantastic natural experience because of this sport and that's like my why. To be able to explore new places and enjoy nature. Try and train in the environment that you're uh, racing. Uh, that's a, that was a huge game changer for me to be able to do more vertical ascent and descent. Um, it made it made a difference and definitely developed me as a runner to train more in the in the mountains because uh, when I started this sport I was living on the flat and it was really hard to get a specific specific technical training in. My key sessions for a race like UTMB will definitely be race specific. Big back to backs, like long days out with friends in in uh, the mountains. I think it's uh, it was it was gets me prepared mentally and physically. I just need that like I need a mountain body for this race. So and that's just long days out, which is my favorite favorite type of training. So I love it. So the way I, I do with my training is that I will have different blocks during a year. I will have like, so I always make sure I have a period where I, where I cross train because we do so much mileage. I think it's good to have a period when you don't only run. Um, and then I would just build up towards the race in a, the best way possible, but the plan never pans out, but that's also, my advice, make a plan, but hold, don't hold on to it too hard. It's, it's not, you need a plan, but it's, you also need to be able to adjust along the way. This goes both for, tr both for training and racing. Like plan, but also make sure you can adapt along the way. Another thing is definitely fueling enough, making sure you get enough uh, calories in, in life in general, but also to eat during training, especially if you're going to push it a bit harder. Because I'm a master athlete these days, I find that it's very important for me to take care of the body and do more like recovery stuff and staying on top of that to make sure that my body recovers between sessions. So recovery is a super important piece. Uh, here you also have like nutrition and sleep, but thinking of the big picture, actually the small stuff adds up. Uh, otherwise it's, also taking care of your training, I guess we are very, ultra runners are like gritty people and we really want to like push, push, push all the time. And for me, it's been good to perhaps be a bit more graceful with myself in training and saving the push, push, push for races. Uh, because otherwise you are, I might leave my best results out there in training and I want to save it for race day. A thousand. We did a thousand meters in time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What are we This is very special with the with the food with steps. One reality is that the best runners they train a lot, right? So obviously you can't like not train and do well in, in ultra racing. I think another really important thing is finding the volume of training that's right for you. Because us ultra runners has a tendency to just think that more and more and more and more mileage is, 
is better. And especially with all the social media platforms today, it's like an accumulated effect of everyone's training, right? So you will always have a feeling of doing too little and you will compare yourself to this person and this person or, or compare yourself to your very own, to your high set own standards, but understanding that it's not necessarily that more and more and more and more is always better. But of course, if you're not a runner, you need to do big training. Uh, but where, where the big training is for you, it's, it's somewhere you need to find that's sustainable. And then you work on that and trying to improve yourself as a runner. So you don't burn out. find your sweet spot uh, but of course you need to do a lot of training to be able to do this kind of grueling races the more you put into your training the more uh, satisfied you will feel with your race result independent on what your result is but it's just the amount of preparation you put in you could go to a race and just like be in really bad shape and just do it for bragging rights but then you would fool yourself of the actual like the the actual feeling of accomplishment because that is not the actual race it is all the hours of training you have done leading up to the race the race is just like the icing on the training cake details matter and they do matter and you need to plan rigorously for a race like this but it is not the gear that will uh, that will make you finish the race it is the training I think the most important skill of an ultra runner is actually the adaptability. You will have to develop a mindset that you will need to adjust. Because these races are so complex and uh, there's, there's just so many things that go, can go wrong, things will go wrong. And this is something that comes with experience, I think. Um, so it's, that's, uh, that's why race, racing other races is such a good thing because you always learn and it doesn't always have to be a great race. You will always learn a lot. I think that even in bad, uh, probably it's the races that goes really bad that will give you the most kind of experience and lessons because this is such a complex thing to be doing so you need to like I, sometimes I feel like you need to fail at least once in every single parameter before you can get it right I haven't got the hundred mile recipe right yet but I'm failing and failing and I'm trying and trying and improving my recipe and finally in the end I will like have it all nailed down and they, then it won't go as planned and I will have to adjust along the way as but I've trained for adjusting along the way, so. <laughs>